Buildings razed to the ground, roads destroyed, and infrastructure heavily damaged. This is Mosul after its liberation from the Daesh terror group. Both in the newly liberated old city and eastern Mosul, which was recaptured five months ago, construction has been slow. As part of the reconstruction effort following the complete liberation of the city last month, the government has surveyed the damage. It is going to be the largest rebuilding plan in Iraq's history. The infrastructure damage on the western coast of Mosul has reached more than 80 percent and more than 60 percent of residential houses. The reconstruction plan is extremely difficult and will be just as costly. We have estimated $850 million for rebuilding Nineveh province. While the plan has been set in motion and it is estimated to take between three to five years to be completed, there is an immediate challenge concerning the residents who have nowhere to go. The Iraqi government is still not capable of compensating the civilians, just like any country going through such a destructive war. The government simply doesn't have the funds right now, and I think we are in desperate need of international support because the humanitarian catastrophe which has befallen Mosul is unimaginable. For the time being, the freed people of Mosul will have to scrape by on what little they have until a concrete plan to help them is adopted by the government and international aid organizations. The destruction left in the wake of the war to eliminate Daesh terrorists from Mosul is momentous. Although the government has laid out a plan to rebuild the city, the challenge to bring life back to Mosul is huge. Ali Musawi, Press TV, Mosul.